those of you fellow practicing Catholics realize that, you know, if you go to a church today, there ain't many people there on an average Sunday. And, you know, there's not the average age in the pew, maybe like old. I'll go with that, old. So, um, a lot of you are sort of like, okay, um, where do I fit in here? What's mode of this? But I'm I'm not talking about mass today, so I'm it's a it's a topic for another time. We're I'm here talking about the sacrament of reconciliation or confession or penance or whatever term you wish to use. I'm gonna use the term confession because it's a bit more culturally sound. It plays into our culture I think more as Catholics and just in general. Like for example, if you go and you see a movie and quite a few movies, you know, there's a scene where uh, one of the characters, you know, goes to a confessional and talks to a priest or whatever, and it's in a confessional just because that's so, so symbolic of that Catholic tradition and that Catholic culture, whereas if you use the term like reconciliation and penance, I feel like not as many people know what you're, talk what you're talking about, but confession everybody gets. So, especially non-Catholics. So what is it all about? What is it about? Well, I could make a long, long, long video describing you know, the theology behind it, why we go, how it was founded. Actually, on Easter, and it's a great joy and about this, but I'm not going to talk about, although I've already spent two minutes, talk about the um, the origins of confession or the theology or the um, whatever behind it. I'm going to talk about myself and my personal experience because my job here, frankly, isn't to teach you about confession. I mean, nobody can fully understand it. It's a miracle. I'm here <laughs> to get all my viewers to go. That's what I want all of you to do. So, what, what is, what it, what, what is my experience going with confession? Well, I was brought up in a fairly Catholic family. We, however, I did not go to confession on a regular basis. I went, obviously, around the time of my first communion, and then um, a little bit here and there, but I think the next time I went, I was maybe, I, I tried to go around Easter, usually, um, but, which is actually, like, what the church requires, is that you receive the sacrament of reconciliation at least once a year, but it was also, you have to receive communion once a year, so, bear with that. Um, yeah, um, so if you go to go to confession. I started going regularly around then, about monthly, and then this past year, year and a half, I've gone weekly. So, why? Why do we go to confession? Well, for me, at least, when I'm at that point where the priest is, you know, uh, God the Father of mercy through the death and resurrection of his Son has reconciled the world to himself so that the ministry of the Church, the God grant you pardon and peace from your sins, and the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So that... That line right there, that always gives me the trembles, that always, you know, makes me feel, oh, I'm right in the presence of God, and that's such an amazing feeling to get that all your sins, the sins you confess, the sins you may have forgotten about, especially if it's been a long time, that everything, if you're just as innocent as right after you were baptized, clean slate, it's so beautiful that Jesus gave us that gift and the confession and the beauty of being able to um, get that. So I ask all of you guys, go to confession, try it out, and to be honest, what do you have to lose? Priests are sworn to secrecy. Think that your priest is going to look at you differently, go to a different priest. Trust me, that's what I did for when I first started going back to confession, was I went to a priest that didn't know me, and frankly, I mean, that helped me get over it, but the reality is, most good priests aren't going to judge you, Matthew 7, but they're going to be able to have a greater respect, I feel, for you, that you, as, you know, especially if you're a young person, and by young, I mean, like, 
somebody watching this video that's like probably under 50 so that's probably everybody watching this video <laughs> but you're you know not let me you know that you're younger and that you're taking your faith seriously and that's something that's absolutely beautiful no matter what sins you commit so um uh, god bless um, subscribe follow uh, like catholic bro and um thank you for watching this video all right <laughs> next week. <laughs>